Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. Heal yourself before dealing with a good man. Ladies, look. I know y'all want a good man, like a good man. And, you know, everybody, every woman has a different idea about that good man, what's good for you in particular. Okay, but ladies, before you can get that good man, you're going to have to deal with your own issues because you don't want to bring toxic traits into a relationship with a good man. Because, ladies, you know how tough it is to find that good man. You know how tough it is. You know all the stuff you had to go through. Because let's be real. It, on this channel and on, you know, my men's channel, you know, I mostly reach good guys. Mostly. You know as I said? Mostly. But let's be real. There's some knuckleheads out here. There's some dusties out here. There's some guys who want to hurt you. And let's just be real. Every single woman has dealt with some bad guys. Every single woman. And it just don't mean you were evil or anything. It's just a part of the nature. That's just everybody. It takes a lot. You got to do a lot of digging to find that diamond. A lot of people do. That's just the nature of it. You, you just got to do it, you know. But here's the thing. Once you find that guy, once you find that diamond, once you find that guy who has great intentions towards you. Once you find that guy who is living the house of the man, he's going to be that uh, protector. He's going to be that guy with the plan. He's going to be that provider. He's going to be that lover, that healer, that restore. All right, you find that guy. You can mess that guy up too if you bring in some toxic stuff in. You know, one thing, sometimes I hear from some women and they broke up with a, a bad guy. But instead of like taking time to deal with the issues there, they want to jump. They want to jump. I was going to say on another guy, but let's just be real under another guy. Well, well, some of y'all on another guy uh, to the side of the other guy. You know, some of y'all kinkier ones upside down with them. But you know how that go. All right. But you still got that same issue. Indeed, that's why a lot of y'all and men too. But that's the woman's channel. But a lot of y'all ladies. Y'all keep running into the same guy over and over. You were in one relationship. It was extremely toxic. You developed some habits, some issues and everything. And then you get into the next relationship. But since you didn't deal with the first one, the first one, you know what? Deep down, you're still looking to solve those issues. So you go into the next one. You look for the exact same guy and then the exact same guy. And there's some women out there. They've dealt with so many toxic men. It's like... You know, the number is in, like several. But then you run into that guy who's not toxic, but you bringing all that negative energy in there. First of all, you're hurting yourself. First of all, you're hurting yourself because that guy's not going to deal with that. If you, a truly good man doesn't mean he's going to be a sucker for something. A truly good man, he's, gonna, he's still going to have some sense. A truly good man ain't going to put up with any, any bull. That's just the bottom line, because if he's a truly good man, even if he ain't trying to be player player, he's still going to be about, you know, dealing with a good woman. You know, and even the men who got it within them to heal, there's only so far they can go because they're still human. And typically they still got their own issues to deal with. And quite frankly, sometimes if you bring in too much in, it's enough. It's too much for them. Indeed. There's a lot of women who know they're bringing some toxic stuff in and expect this guy to heal, but it's just too much. Now, he can do his part, but ultimately you got to do your part. So you got to do it for yourself. And then, ladies, do you want to be responsible for bringing toxic energy to a genuinely good man? Notice I say genuinely good man. Do you want to be responsible? This man's life is going good. He takes you on. He has good uh, intentions towards you. But... Because you bringing in some toxic energy, it messes him up. Do you want to be responsible for that? So you not only hurting yourself, you hurting this uh, good man. You need to heal yourself first. I would tell any woman, 
if you when if you break up from a guy, don't you don't need to go be going to uh, you know the bachelorette party or anything like that. I know some of y'all going to do it anyway. I mean, uh, break up party, divorce party, and everything. Yeah, you might get that fantasy man and everything. Okay, but how many ladies have gotten some guy jumped in some guy, uh, with got in with some guy and they thought, oh, this is gonna be better and everything. Even when you think, even even in situations where you know it's just temporary, you still putting that energy in, and it's probably he got some. He probably has similar energy to the guy you just left. So it's being added to it. Because every time, ladies, every time y'all deal with a man, y'all taking in his energy. Okay? That's the bottom line. Because y'all very nature is to be receptive. So you receiving from a guy. So you got all this negative energy in you. Should you give that to uh, some guy who didn't do anything to deserve it, who's trying to do good? Indeed, many women who got that toxic energy, because that guy is good, will jump on his case. We'll say, hey, what's wrong with you? You can do this or that. They have problems with them because they're so used to the toxic energy. Ladies, you got to deal with that first. You know, you should be taking a minimum, I'm saying a minimum six months. A minimum six months to heal yourself and do whatever you got to do. If you got to go get professional mental health professional therapy, I strongly recommend it. And I know a lot of y'all doing that anyway. So that's not bad. In fact, I need... Really need to talk to the men more, but this is the woman's channel about uh, therapy and getting therapy. You need to deal with it. You need to really look at what happened with you to get in that relationship. Don't blame the guy. What was it about you that was receptive to him? You didn't. He didn't hold a gun to your head, did he? So you need to. You need to be checking yourself. You need to be checking what's going on with you. You need to sincerely heal. Sincerely heal. Like I said, get professional help. If you don't want professional help, find a spiritual leader. If you don't want a spiritual leader, find an elder. Find a best friend who's going to like just tell you, hey, look, this is what's up. Mm-hmm. That probably the same best friend told you not to get involved with that uh, toxic man anyway. But heal yourself. Don't bring you hurting yourself long term because, like I said, you bring that to a good man, that good man will probably kick you to the curb at some point because he's still human. He, he has only so much he can take. And then you don't want to mess his life up. This man doing good in life, you don't want to mess him up. You know, heal yourself before dealing with a good man. All right? Really focus on that, okay, ladies? So that's all I have for now. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.